I was quite happy in retirement, uh, but I also uh, accept that I still may have uh, uh, things that I can contribute towards the, the nation. Uh, although I was uh, uh, actively involved in uh, national leadership, leadership does not mean that you've got to be the prime minister or uh, be in parliament. Uh, or in cabinet, you can lead uh, outside of all those uh, offices. I've been uh, participating in communal uh, work and community work, and also assisting those that uh, had come to uh, seek my help in their small businesses uh, and community and church developments. So that is also national leadership. That is also leadership. Well, I was quite happy to. Uh, pursue leadership in that uh, field. But uh, when they came to ask for my agreement, I said, okay, if, uh, then put it to the party, which they did. And the party uh, gave me the go ahead. Uh, there was a, there were some uh, other candidates and the competition was uh, quite strong and there were some very capable, there are some very capable leaders among those that applied, even those that didn't apply or didn't uh, didn't get nominated, so we still have uh, a depth of uh, uh, leaders that can develop into national leaders. Um, and I accepted, I expected the uh, the opposition, the the disagreement, and uh, it's not too late for them to uh, call for another reconsideration. Will they be doing that? I don't know. It's, uh, it's their call. Um, as you mentioned, there are, of course, some other capable people within the party. Um, are you looking to them for support? Do you think that it is needed uh, in terms of moving the party forward to the next Yes, uh, the, uh, the vice presidents include uh, uh, Anare Chale, a former permanent secretary for, uh, for the public service. Uh, before he became a permanent secretary, he was director of uh, labor and industrial relations. Uh, where he was uh, very uh, intimately involved in uh, conflict resolutions in uh, in the uh, industrial sector at home in Fiji, and uh, uh, one of the uh, major things that he accomplished very well was uh, governing the activities of the tripartite forum uh, between the employers, the employees, and the government. He did that very well, and. Uh, Yesterday, I jokingly said to him, look, we may have to call on your expertise at uh, conflict resolution in the uh, industrial area back uh, to be used now by, by the party. Uh, he only laughed at that and said, uh, you promoted me permanent secretary. And I said, no, not me. It was a permanent sec the uh, Public Service Commission. But we promoted you out of your, your area of expertise into another area uh, where you developed also to be an excellent permanent secretary. Uh, but he's still available, his expertise is still there, and if we need to uh, resolve some internal con uh, conflict and confrontation within the party, then uh, we would be sitting down with him as vice president of the party, uh, dealing with those uh, dissenting voices. Is there a split in Sodelpa? Uh, a split is a split. Anybody that dissenting, and uh, wants to uh, move away, uh, qualifies a situation to be called a split. I, I split from my wife, or I split from a, a big union. Uh, one person leaving a, uh, a union uh, is a split, whether it be a marriage, whether it be a, uh, a union, or a party. People are saying it's it's very important now that political parties and leaders like yourselves work together if we are to, of course, look forward to a new government come 2018. Is that achievable with the current situation? Working together is achievable. Uh, uh, attaining the numbers that uh, will require uh, the support of the people will be a major undertaking, but it is possible. Uh, looking at the current numbers enjoyed by uh, by the PG First and what was uh, polled by the other parties, it is a daunting task. 
but it's not impossible. Um, so Delpa has of course been viewed as uh, more predominantly pro it okay. Uh, with your leadership, do you think you can cross the racial divide and probably get more votes from from uh, other Fijians? Yes, I, I believe I can do that if people cared to look uh, forward of 1987. They, too many of the distractors now are still looking at 1987, not in 97. And the, uh, the uh, negotiations we went through and the uh, cordial relationships across the floor of the House in the negotiations for the changes uh, to bring about the 1997 uh, Constitution Amendment Act, working with the National Federation Party and the Fiji Labour Party uh, and their supporters. Uh, I believe it is possible to work with them. And uh, it is unfortunate that the people of Fiji view Sodelpa as an ultra-nationalistic party. Because when I looked at the constitution and the platform, uh, it clearly states that they, uh, they must also promote uh, multiracial harmony in the country. Now, that's probably one of the biggest obstacles I personally had trying to get into Sodalpa because they viewed me as an ultra-nationalistic uh, person and, uh, and they used the 1987 coup as an indicator of my ultra-native nationalism, uh, forgetting, probably deliberately, uh, the work that was done after 1987. Um, in terms of a strategy, um, you mentioned um, the, the perception people have of, of Sodelpa, but of course when it comes to debates in Parliament, the, the strategy that they've taken and the, the areas that they focused on, uh, land, issues that are of course eat okay, um, are, are, will you look at maybe looking at strategies, new strategies in terms of a debate or issues, bread and butter issues that the opposition needs to drive in Parliament? Well, I maintain that the, the debate in the House is the last, uh, is the last, last ditch battle. Uh, the uh, communication between the leader of the opposition and the opposition parties and government should always be open. Uh, a lot of our discussions uh, for the Constitution and for land uh, during my term as Prime Minister was done not on the House, uh, on the House floor. It was done in my office, in uh, the parliamentary offices, uh, in the corridors, in the embassies, some ambassadors would uh, invite us, uh, the leader of the opposition and the leader of the, Labor, leader of the Labor Party and me, to have lunch. And over lunch we talk about these national issues. Uh, and they are national issues. Uh, issues affecting purely indigenous people are national issues. And uh, what the farmers need are also national issues. They must be uh, viewed as national issues. How much work is now being undertaken by yourself and those that have supported your election to unify people within the party? Within the party we have our, our members and the leaders from uh, the, uh, the areas uh, that uh, were adamant that I should not join the party. They, uh, those that voted, voted uh, along a directed line uh, and uh, there are some uh, within those uh, branches who have different views and they will be carrying out their own uh, discussions and negotiations. Hopefully they will manage to have solid branches and cells in those areas where the vote went against me. Um, I just read up this morning a um, political analyst, uh, Dr. Stephen Rutuva in New Zealand, giving an interview to Radio New Zealand about uh, your leadership, a former, uh, a former coup instigator and, and a smart politician as he describes you. What can we expect out of your leadership going into 2018? Well, I'm, uh, my, 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 my platform, if I was to have a banner, I'd just put sincerity, honesty and compassion. Do everything right with malice towards none. Thank you very much sir, for your Nothing. time. Nothing.